Do you know that you can study for free in Finland with your tuition and living cost covered? Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for returning. If you're a new viewer, thanks for coming and make sure you subscribe because I'm sure you would appreciate the materials on this channel. So today we're in Finland looking at fully funded masters and PhD opportunities. And as I said in the intro, this is an opportunity to study in Finland for free with your full tuition and living allowance um, covered. So it's the Finland scholarship for master's degree, but also PhD or doctoral fellowships. So these are the partic participating universities. These are top universities in Finland participating in this scholarship. So to apply for this scholarship, you have to go through one of these universities. Um, fortunately, somebody from this channel got the scholarship last year. He got the scholarship at the University of Eastern Finland. If I still have a screenshot of his offer, I think I would um, paste it on the screen. So he got into this university. And we'll be looking at these opportunities together to guide you on how to apply, of course. So the first university here is um, Auto University. Of course, we won't be looking at each of them. We'll just look at one or two to just um, show the example. So I've already opened this Auto University here and it sent me to this page, I believe. So when you get to this page, check for guidance on the Finland scholarship. This scholarship is usually for non-EU applicants non-eu applicants are specified here and you click on the guide or the link and it takes you to how to apply for this scholarship you would notice on this page that there are several other kinds of information about tuition several things about partial or full scholarships you should just look out specifically for finland scholarship this is it here finland scholarship for masters this is what you're looking for and of course, there's also a PhD version. These others are either partial scholarship or only tuition scholarships. We're looking for the Finland scholarship particularly. And it says here that it covers 100% of tuition fees and you get 5,000 euros for relocation um, allowance and settlement costs. So 100% tuition and 5,000 euros for um, relocation and for your first year. However, it is also said here that this 5,000 euros will only be paid to you in your first year after you arrive at um, Finland. So you won't get this money in the second year or you might get your tuition waived. It means that in your second year, you have to hustle to um, meet your own living expenses. It might not be a problem because you might also get like student jobs and other things and that would give you some kind of um, income. So it is not a problem. And once you get this amount of money or once you get a letter or an email confirming that you've been offered this full tuition and 5,000 euros, you wouldn't need to submit an extra proof of funds for your visa application. So this is good. And to apply for this scholarship, you simply indicate why applying for one of the courses in this university. So why applying for one of the courses, you state that you want to be considered for the Finland scholarships. So there's no different or a separate um, application. There's no separate application process in the first place. It's just one application. And remember, there's also a, a PhD scholarship as well. So most times PhDs in um, Scandinavian countries are, tr are treated as job opportunities. So it says here that apart from the salary you'll be getting for the job you'll be doing as a PhD student, you would also get some grants as part of this scholarship as written here. So apart from the scholarship or the salary you get as a PhD student, you also get um, these grants, this settlement relocation grant as well. 
So in case you're looking for, for PhD opportunities here, you can always follow the link and see the different programs. And most PhDs are also advertised as job opportunities. So you can just go to Google, click on job opportunities or PhD opportunities and the name of one of these participating um, Finland University. I think I did so already and I got this, I got to this page. And these are some of the PhD, available PhD opportunities at the University of um, Alto in Finland. I remember there are different master's courses as well. Here I went to the master's courses page. I got it from the menu bar in case somebody is confused where to find this. So I just went here, went to the different courses, find program, and eventually landed here. These are the different master's courses. It's a very long list here. And I'm sure you'll find at least one course here that catches your interest. So I use the filter function here, master's courses taught in English language. And I got these suggestions. So I checked one of these courses briefly. And I noticed that the application window opens in December. So for this year's intake, it's already impossible to, to apply for this year. But for next year's intake, so it will open from December 1st to um, January next year. 2023. So this was the application window for last year. It was December 1st, 2021 and closed on the 3rd of January, 2022. So it's likely going to be the same period this year, December 1st, 2022 to January 3rd, 2023. So you can also click on this button to tell you more about the documents you need to submit and the application procedures as well. So one thing about English language requirements, for this university, unfortunately, you need to submit an English language test. So there are some exemptions, but um, only those from Australia, Canada, New Zealand, South Africa, Switzerland, the United Kingdom or the United States are exempted from submitting an English test results. So if you're not from these countries, unfortunately, you have to take one of these English tests. So that's for this university. It might differ for other universities. So it might be important to check for other universities as well. So this is the University of Helsinki. I believe that's the capital of Helsinki, is the capital of Finland. So this university is in the capital. So this is the University of Helsinki. Remember, you check closely for the Finland um, scholarship. So check for, see the tuition fees here. Hopefully not going to be paying tuition fees. So you check down for different categories of scholarship. So some of them, as I said, some of them are 50%, 100%, but this, the Finland scholarship is 100% for tuition and also gives you 5,000 euros for relocation grant and settlement grant. And this 5,000 will only be paid, or let's see here, the scholarship and the 5,000 euros will be paid, will be renewed for the second year of your study. So this is a little bit different from what we saw at Alto University. Alto University said the 5,000 euros will only be paid in your first year. So let's check the piece of information again. This is Alto University. You can see that there are university variations. There are variations um, um, between different universities. So it says here yeah, it's repaid once in the first year. But at Helsinki University, it's saying here that the 5,000 euros will be renewed for the second year of your study as well. So this is good news. So you can also check the eligibility and the application process. So it says here that you have to apply for one of the master's courses here and also apply for the scholarship in the same application form. So there's no different application form 
for the scholarship. So of course you can check for other universities. Remember the person that got the scholarship last year on this YouTube channel, got it at this university, University of Eastern Finland. So you can check it out as well and see what it requires. So here it says 5,000 for the two best applicants. So you can see there's extra amount of money here. The total value of the Finland scholarship is 13 to 15,000, depending on the program. So, but it's still the same, I think, 100% tuition waiver and 5,000 um, euros for relocation grants. So also check for the, uh, what do they call it? The deadlines for the different courses. I think this is still for the last or this year's intake. So you want to check for next year's intake. So you have to go to the master's courses and check when they are opening. Go to the different master's courses offered by this university to check when they are open. These are the list of courses. Finland scholarship can be granted in these UEF, I think this is University of Eastern Finland programs. So check for them and check when they're opening. And while you're applying for them, you just tick a box that you want to be considered for the Finland scholarship. And that's it guys, I hope this was useful. There are several materials already on my channel on how to land a scholarship. So in case you need to submit something like a CV, in case you need to write an essay, you can get all those materials also on this channel. Just check for previous videos on this channel and I'm sure you'll find them useful. So as usual, we cannot wait to celebrate you and we'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now.